Well, it's clean out the locker day at Lincoln Financial Field for the Eagles. The season is officially over now, and there will be plenty of new faces on the team next season. Sports Director Don Bell joins us, and DB, one popular player may have played his final game with the Birds. Yeah, it was interesting to watch all the developments after the game last night on the field. Listen, it's a tough lesson to learn. These pros ain't loyal. Zach Ertz came to Philly in 2013, a second round pick out of Stanford. He grew up in San Francisco and his heart resides in Philly. But for how long? Dan Koo joining us for more on one of the greatest Eagles of all time. Dan. DB, the Eagles have many tough decisions ahead of them this offseason as they try to get under the salary cap and perhaps none more difficult than tight end Zach Ertz. I think, I think this city is the best city to play for. It's setting in for Zach Ertz. Sunday may have been the final game for the Super Bowl hero in an Eagles uniform. He was noticeably the final player on the field Sunday night, possibly saying goodbye to his only professional football home and eight seasons in Midnight Green. I want to be here. Um, even if for some reason something were to happen, maybe I come back at the end. But for me, I'm looking, I don't know what's going to happen next year. Um, I'm reflecting on this year. And this year was tough. The tight end was injured in 2020 and registered career lows in receptions, yards, and touchdowns. But he wants a new deal. The Eagles have not budged after a training camp dust up with general manager Harry Roseman that Ertz says was blown out of proportion. He still wants to stay. Sometimes you see that in my role. It's um, sometimes it's not always the good cop. Sometimes you're you're in a mode of that you have to do. What you think is right for the team, not only with Zach, but with everyone, and, and that's hard. It doesn't exactly take a degree in football general managing to interpret what that may mean. Roseman said Ertz is one of the best to come through the Eagles building and that nothing is personal. Now, if this is indeed the end for Ertz, he's second in Eagles history in receptions. He does have a year left on his current deal, but he is expected to be either traded or released by the team this offseason. Ertz owed almost $12.5 million next season, Don. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, Ertz is the longest-tenured skill position player on offense.